Good morning. It's Thursday, July 4th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Trapped, and our scripture is Romans chapter 7. Paul writes, I have discovered this principle of life, that when I want to do what's right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, but there's another power within me that's at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to the sin that's still within me. Oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that's dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law. But because of my sinful nature, I'm a slave to sin. A man is trying desperately to overcome his extreme fondness and addiction to donuts and other delightful pastries. Having ordered every pill antidote ever offered on the internet and late night TV commercials, having tried all the fad diets and hypnosis and psychotherapy and playing the mental tapes of his mother shaking her judge-like index finger in his face, the man resorts, finally, to prayer. He whispers this prayer moments before leaving for work. Lord, if it's okay for me to get a half dozen pastries on the way to work today, let there be a parking space right in front of the bakery today. He wasn't sure it was going to work, but as he circled the block for the eighth time, sure enough, there was a space open right in front of the bakery. Well, the typical reaction of a human being discovering that he's trapped is to begin the frantic search for a way out. It's like the knee-jerking jump when you've walked barefoot into the hot coals of a fire. You want out, and it's no different in the emotional arena. The minute you sense being bullied or smothered by somebody's too powerful personality or caught in a dead-end job or a lifestyle, you're looking around for an exit door. As with most conditions that exist in the physical and emotional realms, our spiritual side has its corresponding reality. Paul discovered a life principle that he really was a slave, trapped like a rat in a maze, unable to free himself from the sinful ways that his human nature craved. Even when he wanted to, resolved to, wouldn't settle for anything less than being better, it was impossible. He did the bad stuff anyway. He described it as something that was common in Paul's day, being a prisoner walking around chained to a dead, rotting body. That's right. When the Roman government punished convicted wrongdoers, they would be sentenced to life with a corpse strapped to their backs. It was a reminder that their lives were not their own. They were at the mercy of a greater power, Rome. Paul said it's like that, carrying the live virus of sin around with you being a slave to your sin nature. The Apostle James described what that virus does. James chapter 1. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions. And when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. Now, That guy who couldn't stay out of the bakery, that's not just a joke you've heard 20 times over the past year. That guy is me. And he's you too. In some way, that joke is funny because it connects with who we are. People descended from Adam and Eve, trapped in the human condition of being slaves to our desires. And when we finally get to the place where we understand that there's no release, that the corpse of our sin debt will follow us to the grave, there are only two ways out. First of all, there's self-justification. We rationalize with our prayers and intelligent post-church theories how we're okay because we were born that way. And who's anybody to judge me anyway? Leave me alone. I'm just going to circle the bakery eight times until I feel better about myself. But then, number two, there's justification that God offers as he takes our place hanging on a cross for what sin has done to us. And his death sets us free. For you today, if you've circled the bakery enough and you're beginning to feel the weight of being trapped, rejoice, you're not far from the kingdom. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. 
have a blessed day.